Is it right for me to stay at home relatively comfortable while the world is upended? <laughs> I love that one. You'll know that if it is something that you're meant to go out into the world, again, connect in the morning first thing before you even open your eyes, feel yourself clicking in. It's like plugging in a lamp. If you plug it in, the light goes on. If you disconnect it from the socket, you don't have the light, you're not connected. Plug in by just relaxing and breathing and getting connected with that truth of you. Have a, a holy encounter with your divine self before you even open your eyes, the light of you. See yourself in that light, of that light, and through that light. And then just ask, you know, have a day where it's all open-ended in your mind. Even if you do have a day where you work from home or you typically have a schedule, just let yourself feel yourself showing up to that schedule, in quotes, with an open heart and an open mind, ready to receive and experience anything. And then once again, tell me where to go, tell me what to do, tell me what to say and to whom, and I will to do it and nothing more. That way you'll still be in a place where you're relatively comfortable, like you say, even while the whole world is upended. Again, we need the sanity. We need people anchoring the sanity here. And there are going to be many people who are just anchoring peace in their own space and in their own life. And that's really important right now. The ego only sees activity and, and doing things as important or having things as important. This is a sense of being in the world, but not of it. You're not in the craziness, but you're bringing light to life to shine it out, to be able to anchor some beauty and bliss and sanity and divinity here. Don't ever underestimate that embodying the divine, there's nothing more important in life. Nothing more important in life. You're embodying it for others to know it's real.